Okay, welcome to another Graphics 2 tutorial, and today I kind of want to go over uh, kind of how you um, use the stencil to basically make certain parts of your drawing off limits when you're using the tools. This is useful if you have some text and you want to add a gradient effect, or if you're shading something uh, against a background that you don't necessarily want to get paint on the background. So it works very much like masking tape masking tape does um, in traditional painting if you want to mask off an area. Uh, I'm going to begin by going into the layers. It doesn't matter which two or which one of those we pick for this. Uh, let's begin by, I think I want to do some kind of gradient chrome text today. So I'm going to click the text um, button here and I'm going to go down to one of these true type fonts because these you can get, you can scale up pretty well. Uh, what's a good one? Um, Good old sample text, everybody's favorite. Okay, now let's make it exciting. There we go. Now I'm going to remove the anti-aliasing, uh, and the reason is um, because that anti-aliasing is going to interfere with the mask unless you set it up to also trample anti-aliasing too. I want a little thicker. Uh, we'll see what some of these look like. Uh, gosh, it has kind of a Comic Sans vibe to it. No, it doesn't. It's something else I'm thinking of. Uh, it's not important for the sake of demonstration. I think that one's okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And italic, why not? So I'm going to hit OK. And if you ever notice that, um, if you ever notice that your, your sound, or if you ever notice your text is black, one thing you can do is you can come over here and right click this uh, paintbrush choice menu and what that does is that converts your current paintbrush to a monochrome brush and from there you can select any color you want but we're going to use white as our um, our color to trample over here so I'm going to I'll put it somewhere in the corner here that's fine I'll stamp that down I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see easier and now what I want to do is I want to mark the um, the white to be able to be drawn on and I want to make the black off limits so let's go into the effects menu I'm left clicking and then I'm going to right click the stencil here and you can see that basically all the colors you select are off limits these are all going to be created as a mask you'll notice that the white is um, left open because we're going to allow uh, change to that white color. You'll see the black is, well, transparent color, black, whatever you want to call it, is also a mask right now. You don't need to select all of these, but just for the sake of demonstration, I've left them all selected. Okay, so let's begin laying in a nice gradient effect. I'm going to right-click the gradient option, and of course, um, if you have, you know, if you want a different type of gradient, you're going to have to set colors over um, on the spare page and then remap the colors. That's a little more advanced. So we're going to stick with a nice uh, sky and maybe sky and desert type gradient. So I'm going to say this is the gradient I want. I'm not going to mix it. Of course you can come over here and you can get uh, through dithering patterns you can get some nice mixing. Actually, I wonder if I mix this a little bit. Do I want that? Maybe it would be nice for a sky gradient. It's a little more cloudy effect. We'll give it a try. So now I'm ready to lay in the gradient here. And I'm going to drag left click from there, drag it over here. And then the gradient um, the gradient tool is going to want a line to define how the uh, angle and the progression of that gradient goes. I'm going to just make a straight gradient. Okay, we've got our cloud cloudy text laid in. And then uh, I think I want to make it, and I guess the point of this also notice is it didn't touch the black. So the black is a mask, and it's, um, well, for the sake of demonstration, let me hit the D key, and we'll get the, uh, I'm going to hit the D key to draw, and then hit delete, and I'll come over here just to, I'll grow this brush a little bit. I'm just demonstrating something right now. Um, you can see that this mask is, the black is rejecting color. It's one of the mask colors, so anything drawn on here. We've only set white to be the only open color that's not masked, so any color is going to reject painting but white, and that's how we're getting this effect. So I'm going to undo this, and since I was said I'm going to do kind of a desert gradient, we'll go ahead and finish that up. I'm going to right-click the gradient again, and I'm going to lay in just some desert. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, I'm not going to mix it this time. I just kind of want to have a nice 
Okay. Actually, probably desert's a little bit sandy, but for a chromey look, we'll do this. And now we'll lay in that second gradient. Again, you. I'm going to leave a little strat, strip of white, and we draw the gradient defining area, and now I'm going to make it go straight down. And you can see we have kind of a... I guess desert would be a little bit, little bit whiter, uh, sandy color, but you get the idea. Uh, through masking, you basically set colors that are off limits to draw on, and in the meanwhile, the tools will grab everything else that's open for drawing. And so, if you're drawing, um, let's say, let's undo that. Let's say I was using the paintbrush tool, for example. So let me shrink the size of my paintbrush because the spray can tool uses the current brush so we want a real small small one and I'm going to say uh, I'm going to use a gradient here to uh, actually I think I said that was a little bit uh, let's clear that out I'm going to use multi for this now remember this is going to draw only on I think that size might be a little bit uh, this is going to draw only on the white because we've masked all the other colors. So you can see the spray tool is working right now, but it's not going to catch it until we get on that white. So basically, if you were ever airbrushing something, this would be one way you could you could airbrush without uh, hit, getting on the background. So masking comes in really useful. There's also the um, I need to quit saying um. If I right click here, there's the or I, I've been saying masking, but really, there's a mask tool, and it's it's a little bit more involved. The stencil is a little easier to understand, so you can understand they work similarly. But stenciling is basically setting areas that are on limits or off limits for drawing. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and get out there and make some art.